Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today you join James of Chops Garage and I as we are back at G3 Auctions. We are both going to try and get some stuff bought today, probably differing stuff. James is debating whether he wants something within his usual wheelhouse or something a bit more interesting. Yeah, I've got to, yeah, it's either buy something that I'd normally have or buy something like completely different, but I have got to drive it home again. So I've set myself on the challenge of buying something and driving, what is it, six hours home? About that for you, yeah. About six hours to get home. So last time I did a Hyundai i20 1.2, which is like a totally safe bet, isn't it? You still got it, by the way. Which I've still got, I haven't sold yet. Um, only because I put it up for sale, it took me about a month to put it up for sale, though, to be fair. So yeah, so it's either I go for something safe again like that, or I go just sod it. Let's look for the most random bit of kit we can and see if we can get home in it or not. So although you'll be watching this afterwards, everyone needs to will James to buy something really weird and interesting and well. It's already spotted some interesting stuff. But I think you need to. There's a Maserati right inside the door there. But yeah, this might be a little about your range, mate, that, isn't it? Yeah, about yeah. my range, too. Um, yeah, that subscribe button <laughs> down below. Get liking, get clicking. Maybe I can afford the Maserati. Yeah, maybe. You'd get enough subscribers in. But yeah, last time, I didn't give James much of an option. He had to drive something back himself. But this time, he's, you're not giving you, he'd come and deliver the car to me, so he's got to drive back. Yeah. But I'm after something for our raffle site, I think. Feel good competitions. Something interesting. And I know there's something really nice here. So... We're going to get in, have a wander around, see what's here, and then get stuck in with the bidding. This, I think, is Mr. Mike Brewer's. No, I, I don't know saw why. saw this in the watch list. I've seen remember because it's high. So he's what, his but personal car or from his dealership? I, yeah, I would assume so. <laughs> no, from uh, Mike Brewer Motors. But it's got no V5, which could be a big reason why it's here. Would you, I don't know so what you say, so the fact that the suspension's at like the off-road height is good news or bad news. They could have done that to demonstrate that the airbags do work, but. So this is Mike Brewer's car. He hasn't got a V5 because he stole it and he's driven it off-road. Yeah. Some of what I've stated below may be factually incorrect. Yeah. It's a nice it, spec one. I like the interior. Yeah, I like the interior. It's like sort of brownie colour. It's pretty chock a block today, yeah, mate. It isn't it? I don't think I've seen half of this stuff. I'm already starting to tweak a little it's bit on stuff was, that I had. There was some seen extra stuff in. Without, they haven't printed off because we're like the early birds. No one else is here, as we like to be, because we're such consummate professionals, aren't we? We like to come and check everything out. Make sure that all the cars we're interested in we check out and then ignore those and just bid on other things when they go through the auction As hall. As per all the people in the comments say that you could easily avoid half the problems you had if you literally checked the thousand components there are on every vehicle yeah. in the auction house before you well, the thing one, is, every single one. What you need to do is do an MOT history check, a HBI check or whatever on every single one of these cars that's here this morning. One. So yeah, that's it, that's it. And then get underneath each one and check it for rot. Go along each one and make sure that you hear it start up. Go along you here and make sure it gets into gear. Yeah, check every knob, switch and button. Check every coolant bottle. Other than that, it's a piece of cake. Other than that, yeah, piece of piss. Um, right, let's just have a... Well, I've spotted mine. Do we get straight into Bosh. Joe's by the day? Oh my God, you're obsessed with these things. If it's got a sloping back and an Audi badge, you're on it. Like flipping If it's got these... Bear on honey. V-spoke alloy wheels. And what I want to check is the paint on this, because it looks good in the pictures. I think it was a grade two or three, but it is red paint. And whatever it is, about red paint that just makes them want to like a pill. That blooming Audi. So we won't have to fight over this one, mate, if you want to have a little bid. A comparison, what do we think my first choice is? Let's have a quick look. Let's bring my... This thing? I go? I hadn't seen that, actually. I, do, I, do want, I don't want to drive six hours back. No, in that's a one problem, litre three cylinder. <laughs> I'm sure it'd do I'll be, it. I'll be just cruising along, barely breaking 1500 RPM in my 4.2 V8. If we had a transport road today, I'd definitely be having a bid on that. That's for sure. Should we, um, should we pitch in together on a transport? They're not that expensive, like 14 grand for a six car transporter. Yeah. And you just need someone to drive How long will it take me to get my money back? Then, yeah, we need someone to drive Ooh. it. Then we've got to pay for insurance. Didn't spot this. We were talking about this earlier, weren't we? We were saying, have you ever tried one of these? Yeah. I don't, maybe I do remember this being in here. Maybe I don't. It's got uh, the old Winstons, the Churchill tires on it. It's what you like to see, isn't it? On your performance. Yeah, budget tires. And horsepower. Budget tires and wheels that have been beaten to hell. A Hunter ultra high performance Evo Lux tires on the front. I'd say that's false advertising. I wouldn't say that ultra high performance. This is what you want to cruise back in there. No. No? 
Well, with the wind in your hair? Exactly. What's left? At a time when I had some hair, it may well have been an option. But uh, the midlife, get back with the a midlife glowing fluorescent strong in that one. <laughs> like beacon on the back of my head from my bald spot, just glowing red. Right, so I've got down, ooh, I've got down a Nissan Qashqai, a Mazda 3, a Toyota RAV4, a Hyundai i20, a Cougar. I have got an A4 Avant in there, which is a bit off the wall for me, and a Ford Focus, and then another bit off the wall, an Infiniti FX30, which I've already kind of decided in my head. What's I the don't cap want. clean on that? No idea. Let's have a quick look. Mr. Research. No, it hasn't told me because I haven't done any further research on it because my sensible head said, don't even bother. You've got no need at all for an FX30. And I've just found two other cars I put on there that I haven't checked the price on, I don't think. So Do you know what? You know, you see those videos, it's like, oh, ick. You know, the ick thing where something like really puts you off something. Like for me, an ick is these like multicolored, multidimensional yes. number plates. It just screams. That's just it like, just screams I'm, I'm off that car immediately. the boobs off this. Yeah. Doesn't it? it does actually just scream that out. Someone who thinks that looks good is not someone who looks after their car well. So what I did last night, I went in and got all the prices, trade prices, for all, uh, the retail prices for all the cars I was looking at. Look how organised I am. That. Look at that. Boosh. We're all you sorted. can almost see it through that broken screen as well. Exactly. <laughs> That's my screen protector. I've broken about five phones inside of a year. So... Uh, right, where are we starting? We should get Yeah, organized. I don't know. There's, too, there's almost too much to look at, isn't there? I don't know where we, uh, to start. Have a little wonder. Um, should we start at that end? We never got to that end last time. Yeah, so no, we never did. It. Maybe we should start at the opposite end this time. See, so the thing is, you walk by, I didn't look at that at all, but that's like a bit new for me, actually, isn't it? 67. Cafe. Watch my car. Watch the RS. He's already damaged Joe's car. Shh. Knocking money off. The only problem with this is it is red. And I, how many people are going to want red i don't know that red matters so much on performance stuff though does well it? i know i know that's my thought but i think red if it's on so the... have a look at these discs because the discs on my rs4 are they're like it's like a thousand pounds for a set yeah the margin needs to be huge on something like that doesn't it but you know with the way cap prices and auto trader prices are way out of whack the cap price with this will say that it's about 16 grand to sell it's not, it's like 20, if not 21. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the... So if they're saying the cap clean is like 14, you might, and cap under or cap below, what is it, cap average, cap below? Cap below, just 12. If you can get this for 10 or 12, because everyone's a bit scared of it. You've got a 10K margin. You're absolutely liable, aren't you? I would have thought that would be a, a better I sort of seller. I did think about it, but... I would have thought, because that crosses across someone that wants a bit of performance, wants to get the family well, it's in. SQ5 in it, so it's only a three litre twin turbo diesel thing it does need a rear bumper because yeah, that one by the time a... you start trying to fix that one up you might as well just get a new one it needs a good little needs alloy really refurbs it needs quite a lot of refurb doesn't it this look quite nice i do like the look of these but especially yeah. this one being like it almost looks like wide body but i don't think it is oh yeah found james's now if this doesn't scream james harding of chops garage i don't know what does what that screams me yeah. Oh yes, yes. The additional in fact, bonnet. It screams bends. me because that's like the nostrils, isn't it? Yeah. As everyone says about my nostrils. And the rattle can bonnet. Look at the oh, look at the flipping fade and orange peel on that one. Ooh, lovely job. Lovely, lovely job. If I've ever painted that, get down to manufacturers because that's about the standard the manufacturers have these days, isn't it? Right. Right. Try, and, try and focus up. Let's get focused up. First of all, XJ. We've only got 56 minutes until Shall the auction I starts. Even bother looking at the XJ. Oh, the XJ. Or should I just walk away? What would I do with that XJ? What on earth has happened here? I would say I around it myself when I already have about 10 cars to smoke around in. So I think we're going to just say no straight away. Oh, come on. No. Live a no. little. No. You can afford it. Something no, weird's up on the wheel. It. I know there's tyre soap on it, but that's a bit more than that. Yeah, that's not quite Do you know what? Right, I do really it? fancy one of these. This, say if for driving up here or driving back from here, this would just be absolutely Well, as long as the sublime. intakes aren't going poppity, poppity, pop, and you've got an engine management light for no boost because you know that's what, actually, what they like to what do. What puts me off immediately when I look inside, it looks like that Maserati Ghibli with that head unit and whatever, and I hate that car, so. Silver's boring as well. I struggle with silver cars. Silver's a bit boring, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's like the safest, safe option, but not very appealing. Yeah. What little Fiat 500 Abarth? You like a Fiat 500 Abarth, don't you? I think that's the Abarth 500 Custom. That is it? The thing, but Woo. yeah, I don't know if I- Lovely jubbly. I had three at one time, and we did sell all three within like one or two days. I know, I bought but one on the they were sat around for a month the, or two more. 
I bought one of the bases you told me they sold in a heartbeat as well. Yeah, did it? Been up for two days so far. I have had one inquiry. Ah. So I guess that's not too bad, is it? But it's a bit of a slow month anyway, isn't it? So I'm not majorly panicking over that. You know, I, think the next I feel like I need to go and get a, a catalogue now. I don't know. I'll go through yet. the ones that I've marked them on. Should I see if I can get you one? Yeah, should we see if we get catalogs? Because otherwise I'm going to wander around I, yeah, and the stuff I shouldn't look at. I'm gonna, I need to stick to the ones I chose at the beginning. What about an e-pace? So right up your street now, you're getting into uh, the, all the EVs. So it wouldn't be that convenient if it isn't charged and you need to get back six hours. No, exactly. I bet I'd have to stop off two or three times on the way home, wouldn't I? It probably wouldn't have the charging cable either. Some you're recording some serious thinking. You can literally hear our cogs wearing here. We're trying to do it the proper way today, see, aren't we? We're trying to be, like, sensible. So we can't get grief from people on YouTube for being pretend dealers. It does upset us, to be fair, doesn't it? It does. It's hurt. It hurts people. You don't realise when you say these things. Words hurt. It cuts deep. It doesn't matter how successful you are at doing it. If someone says you've done it wrong, it yeah. uses it after failure in life. You want to stick two fingers up to them. That's the trouble. So we should um, probably actually go and look at these cars well, now. Well, my first one that I'm interested in is 317, the Zopa. Right. Keep up, boy. It's impressive, that, isn't it? The fact that it's just a bunch of little LEDs, but it actually makes a very lovely picture when it's... He's impressed easily, isn't he? All right, but it's, it's very big, isn't it? Panels put together. Oh, I understand now. It's just size that impresses you. That's why you keep buying all these massive... Yeah, houses. well, I keep buying the big engine things. They're very loud and shouty and... So I could take a leaf out of our friend at... Uh, what's he called? The Very Lovely Car Company. Very lovely, lovely. Very lovely, lovely, lovely car company. And look at newest, lower mileage stuff. So my first one is 326, so where do the lane numbers start then? Mm. Oh, there's some numbers on these ones, aren't there? That's 135. So it's got to be going, so we're going, we're going in the wrong direction. direction. I'm just going to wing it, there's only one car I really want to buy. We know what we're going to buy. We'll just follow James around. Numbers. Did you park this one? Why is, is it hitting the other one, is it? <laughs> no, it's just flat tyres, <laughs> stoved in bumper and rear quarter. I guarantee you'll get a comment on that saying that's a Uber delivery, a Just Eat delivery driver or something. People love to say that, don't they? Audi A7, perfect for you, James. You need to put a child leash on me, you already lost me. Well, I said, let's go over here, and you started walking in that direction. I know, oh, I've got this one on my list. Yeah, I've got this one on my list. Cougar? Yeah, Cougar. It's not a power shift, is it? Who doesn't love a Cougar? Manual? That's first problem yeah. ticked off. This one is from First Response. Who's First Response? Finance. Yeah, finance company. Finance repo, poss possibly. Possibly finance repo. Or possibly, they are a, a subprime lender, let's they're say. They're a subprime lender. Possibly finance repo, or it is, um, it's broken. So why, is it, why is it in reverse? Or oh, second? It's probably got no resistance to the gearbox. You, get, you do get nervous with these things. I can't remember if I had a report or not. No. Warning lights you on just... dash. Oh, it's only got a warning light for a low pressure tyre. So that's what's that side like? Is there anything down there? Body work wise, I've actually bought a car before without walking down one, down one side of it and missing something. Yeah. You've done that. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least very nearly. I'm sure I have actually. This is where someone goes, it's had paint. Don't buy a used car. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of had paint. Body works actually in good nick, isn't it? Yeah. Nice, decent colour, decent spec. Body works good. I never check tyres. I'm always a bugger for that. I, I, just, I, only, I, I don't either, but I'm only just thinking because you've got to drive it back. Yeah, no, good point. The tyres look fairly new, don't they? This is where it pays to be a, a little Slim Jim like me, see? I had to squeeze through it, despite that or ultimate no, mixed grill I had last night. Or have no cuffs. That's, it's one of two, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> personal attack. I hit it with the, the baby calf. You've got tread. Been. Not so have you, you deserve let's have, your, let's have your opinion from behind camera. Would this be a car you'd be bidding on? Right, there we go. Two of Toby's, Toby's auntie's never wrong. Aunts. Yeah. Toby's aunties are never wrong. Yeah, they've also, his mum's got an evoke. Okay, sorry, your family has some poor decision making. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're not so sure about that anymore. That one's James and Zent. It's a manual. Maybe that's why I don't have it in there. People like all. I have been, I kept saying I haven't had too much problem with these, but I had bought a white one. I did a video actually, I was like, is this the riskiest purchase ever made? Because it was a two litre Ingenium and it was a manual, two wheel drive, and the clutch has given me problems. Oh. oh, number of services zero. I haven't got any services recorded to that, but they all seem to say that. I don't see any. A lot of them say that, and you might find that you end up getting it anyway, or yeah. you could find it from Ford. 
Yeah, I'll ring around the MOT centres and see if they've got any records. And that's another thing you get with uh, customers. Some customers will say, well, it hasn't got force, I wouldn't touch it, it's whatever. And you need to do X, Y, or Z to satisfy the fact that it hasn't got the history. And you'll say, sorry, no, I understand you want it. But the next person will come along, they won't even ask. They just don't yeah. care. Yeah, they don't know. This is the sort of stuff my mechanics begged me to buy. They said, could you get some sensible stuff like focuses and could jars and oh. whatever. Mind you, I guess with the 1.5 diesel in it, it's not too bad a bit, is it? Well, no, it'd be nice and vanilla, but they're like, yeah, no prestige, no performance. <laughs> But no then promises. again, if the cars didn't need fixing, they wouldn't have a job, would they? Well, yeah. I think I had this in my watch list. Again, right up your street. White, four series. No, not the... No, these scare me. Oh, this is the one... Not yeah, the I've Qashqai. Got this. this is on my list. It's on my list, I think. Isn't it? Yeah, you look at the Qashqai, I'll look at the four series. It's had a little bump up the bottom. You can see it's popped out. It's got a crease in the thing there. This is nice. I like the colour. Oh, needs a windscreen. It's got a nasty panel gap down there on the rear bumper. The rear bumper? Yeah, on your side there. It's got almost taken it off and then not put it back. Oh, uh, yeah. You probably get the clips right and everything and yeah. Finagle that back into oh, the right place. Oh, what's happening inside there. Looks like a snail's been walking over the seats. That's definitely a kids in the back job, isn't it? Why do they get this white stuff over the steering wheels all the time as well? It's makeup. It's the white stuff for makeup. No, I'm talking I think about the so, little yeah. bits here. It's... You get these little bits almost like they've got paint in them. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. I see that on loads of them. I don't know what it's all about. See a bit of you in it, Joe? No, don't like Lexus. Used to, but not too many problems. See, that's funny, isn't it? People say they're bulletproof. You'll have no problem with a Lexus. And you go, yeah, no, I've had just as many problems with anything else. No, no. Other than I've rust. Had one, I've had one for years and years and years. It's like, yeah. Oh, Dolky. I'm looking for a RAV4 and I'm looking for a Mazda 3. I'm going to go and see if I can get some red catalogues now, I think. I said I wasn't going to go near the Infinity, but it is kind of cool. Ah, uh, the Infinity. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Kind of. Does it look like it's down at the back? Can't quite tell. Wheels are in nice, Nick. I can't quite tell if it's down at the back or not. It looks a bit low. Oh, paint there. Look at that paint there. Got a good scratch there as well, look. Or is that oh, you yeah. squeezing past the That was me squeezing past. Yeah, so there's quite a bit of paint. It's got a tow bar on the back of it, which it normally do. wouldn't worry me, but... Yeah, it looks low on the back to me. So that's you're like three knuckles to, deep. It's about the middle of my fourth knuckle to that line. But yeah. wait till it's fired up. If it's gone up, then you know it's probably lowering on it if it's got air. What's it compared to the front though? How many knuckles have you got on the front? Well, who knows, but it's probably going to be different anyway, isn't it? Nice little ding there. What's the cap clean on it, James? No idea. I didn't look at any of the pricing on it. It was kind of a moot point because it's... Uh, it's not going anywhere, is it? I can't imagine that selling. It'd oh. just end up staying with me, wouldn't it? Get, get it in cheap then. Live a little. 62. I say that, it's always like, there's, for me, I'm like, go on, why not? It will sell eventually, and then you resent it for the next okay. three months while it sits there. So that looking at any numbers, what ran, oh, the rear window's dropped a bit as well. What, what random bid would you put on that and say, I'll just chance it for a bit of fun? I'd say something like four and a half. Yeah, I was gonna say very similar. Four and a half to allow for fees, so you'd be in about five to smoke it. it. You'd buy it for four and a half. Would you? Cap retail is retail with seven, so it's probably eight or nine in reality. And cap clean is 4,950, cap average is 4,275. Don't start making excuses. Oh no, do you know why I'm not going for it straight away? I just spotted something. Have you spotted the exhausts? Who the hell buys an Infinity and sticks exhausts on that? It probably comes like that. It's a, it's they're like a, Infinity's like a yeah, but they can't have exhausts. Toyota. They don't have they? exhausts that big, do they? On them, that uh -huh. looks like someone's put dustbins on the back. We'll of it. find out. That's the I'll one. That's check. the one thing that's going to put me off this RS5. If it's Q got an aftermarket exhaust and I got to do four hours back in it, and drone it. <laughs> well, I won't have to. I suppose I put Toby in it. QX70. Let's see what the pictures of it show the exhaust look like. 
<laughs> We've got flames coming out in the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting up loads of lists of people saying don't buy them, they're incredibly unreliable. <laughs> no, to be fair in the image, they look that big actually. What, for other ones you mean? Just generic pictures? Yeah, see? It's probably got, you know, flaps or something and you could... Was there a report on it? Did you, did you see the report? Has it got any, no, it hasn't got an assured report on it, has it? It's a finance one, so it could drive fine. It's just been repossessed. Why am I even looking? Why am I even discussing this? Why am I even discussing this? Because I'm going to peer pressure you into buying it. Uh. It's got service history. Yeah, it hasn't got a bad service history, actually, when I looked at it. It hasn't got a bad service history. Uh, five stamps by the looks of it. I hasn't had one for four years, though. But that doesn't mean it hasn't. It's just they haven't got the bit of paper to say it. Well, it's been on finance and it's been repossessed potentially, isn't it? Someone's going to be in the comments now. Road tax. How about road tax? Not assured. No. Road tax is what it is, people. Let's if do, you it, want we do a vehicle score on it. Sorry? Let's do a vehicle score on it. Oh, let's do a vehicle score on it. And then we'll get the tax and everything as well. Do you want the good news or the bad news about your car you're going to buy? I think the score is going to be low because the road tax is going to be high. The history's sketchy. It's going to have some MOTs for tyres and discs because they're expensive things to put on it and not a lot of people want them. So I think the vehicle score is going to be low. Desirability and tax doesn't come into it, but it's 483, pretty average, it says. So yeah. it's about 50% type of score. Bad news, £710 a year tax. Yeah. Good news, you less compliant. So it's you less compliant, but it's 710 tax because of its emissions. Don't you love this world? Isn't it absolutely mad? Three litre diesel. Yeah. But you less compliant. No doubt because of the age. Yeah. But, you know, something else that would be like a 1.2 petrol or something, you know, turbo, won't be you less compliant or something stupid, you know what I mean? So I'm buying cars back there while I'm here at the auction, literally emptying my bank account. Taking a leaf out of Jamie Capel's book. Just spend it before you even got it. I feel like today is just going to be one of those days of like, keep ahead of the keep ahead of it and try and run back and check the cars before they come through because so many here and a lot of them haven't got their stickers on just yet although they're coming around now it's quite hard to keep a track of this is something a bit different a Vauxhall Ampera electric car looks quite funky it's got a very American look about it the engine management light is illuminated now does that mean oh it is a 1.4 so it must be a hybrid because it is a, some kind of electric thing. That's the whole reason it's called an Ampera. Amp, get it? Um, it's quite funky inside. I'm not sure if I like the fact that the gear selector, which Toby might be able to see, I think the door is unlocked, is like inside the dashboard and you drag it out of the dashboard. It's quite weird. Quite funky looking though. This, and there's a Prius here as well. How much is the... 76,000 miles on that, which is very low for a Prius because they've normally been Ubers or delivery cars or whatever. I bet they won't go for hardly anything. Look at the back of that. I mean, I won't go as far as to say it's cool, but it's different. And it's cool for being different, I guess. But yeah, we'll see what they do. Not a lot, I'd imagine. I don't know why it is with these RS5s, but they always seem to leave it till like the very last minute before it goes through, before they fire it up. It's one of those cars I don't think they want everyone getting in and revving. An idiot like me, it's like, yeah, run, run, run. Like they do when they come on my forecourt and you give them the keys and they go out there, fire it up and instantly they're banging it off a revving emitter. But I do want to hear it fire up. So if it's got an absolutely savage cold start on it, then it would probably put me off. All sounds good. We've definitely got competition though. Other lads hanging around, so. It smells quite smoky. Definitely smells like a smoker's car. You can smell it from outside, but if that's the extent of the problems, then we'll be all right. I got a feeling this, these two lads from Saratoga Cars, they're all over it. They want it as well. So this could be not as easy as we first thought. I think they're just trying to sort out the screens at the minute because they've got the wrong car up on the screen. Oh yeah, was that an AMG A45 going through 
five grand. Or was it an A180 kitted up or something? Yeah, it's a diesel. That's why. 2.1 diesel. That could have been risky, couldn't it? If I'd gone running in there to try and buy that. I can already tell there's going to be a fight on for this, but is everyone else expecting to nick it and we can still get it? Or... else we might be interested in. Hey, the next car we were interested in was a BMW 330D, blue, got the V5, uh, it's only got two service history stamps but it's, and it's on 118,000 miles, 118. It's higher but not the end of the world. Cap clean of 7,000 pounds. Probably won't bid on that but then again it does look nice, our 330D. So we said about seven grand, cap clean. It's not clean, you can see it's got some dents in the door and it's got a tow bar on it, which doesn't help. It's obviously got bits of trim and things on it that wouldn't be standard. Let's just see, I'm not gonna be putting a bid on this because we've got another 330D back at Barometers anyway, but we'll just see what it does. Uh, BMW 330D, we'll look at the uh, We'll have a look at the looking thing. Three thousand nine hundred mid down from now three nine. Capital nearly five. Four on mine. 
Fuerza el número de Fogo, Marquín 2. 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 Fuerza el número He's bought one. Well, that's 2,400 retail. So after fees, I probably have four one have gone into the next bracket. The fees, I imagine. Um, but it's good. It's retail six and a half. I paid four one. So, that's not bad. It should be a safe bet. Safe bet. Sounds like a, sounds big, but when you've got. Four hundred pounds save for fees, and then a hundred quid to get it home, and then the new MOT, blah 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 blah. blah. But it should be a card of eight seven eight. I think I got like tiers where I if I got like a card that's like retails for under six or seven. If you make between seventeen fifty and a couple of grand off of it, that's fine. If you're getting up to ten grand, you want to be making two and a half. If you're getting up to twenty, you want to be making three or four. You know, gross on that. Gross. But you are it. You know, you don't want to be working for smaller margins or more expensive stuff, it just doesn't make sense, you know. You'll catch up in a minute on line 17, 9, bit of 18, 1, 18, 2. Selling at 18, 2. In the doorway at 18, 3. You're out online at 18, 3. At 18, 3, bit of 18, 4, bit of 18, 4 on B. At 18, next on 4, bit 5 on B. 18, 5 and 6 B. 18, 6, bit of 18, 7. 18, next and 8 B. At 18, 8, bit of 18, 8, bit of 18, 9 on. No, no, 18, 8 in the hall. 18, 8 B. You're on the wrong foot, 18, 9. You're still on the wrong foot, 19. 19 on B. Hall, we're at 19, you'll catch up in a minute. 19 bid 1 B. 19 thanks and more bid 2 B. 19 2, we're staying in ones all the way, guys, at 19 3. 19 thanks and 3 bid now at a 19 3 B. At 19 3 bid 4 B. 19 5. 19 5 and 6 B. 19 6 on B. 19 7. 19 8. 19 8 with a 19 9 B. 19 thanks and it only sounds like more money. Have a look at this A6, two or two away. This is what James should get, the drive back in. Not a lot of people there, huh? That's perfect for you to get in, I would have thought. Wants a few little bits, but it's only about five grand. Is uh, Chops going to be bidding against Jamie on this one? You can see we've got Jamie Capel in there from Khaki, who we had in a previous video. He's here buying up. He tends to come around and he buys like 30 cars in one go. Just like, but I don't think he wants them on Deo. It's not really his profile, that's the more interesting stuff, bigger margins. Ford stuff focuses on theirs, mate. We don't tend to get big margins on. He's in. James is nodding. He said about five, didn't he? No, he's out. We probably. I don't think we have anything else left. We're interested in this lane. Three, seven, nine, one, two in the hall, three online. Thirty three I've got, four online. All the same. Three thousand point bank, five in the hall, six online. Thirty six I've got. All on three six. Fair one in the seven eight in the hall. Thirty eight I've got. Front nine out, three thousand eight to the main bit. In the middle, thirty eight, seven eight, you win it, you quick say, thirty eight bit, middle of the line of the box, twice, after thirty eight, I have sold the share of number safe rules. 
This is the one you're interested in here, is it? 57 I've got. 57 under 10, is that 5'8? 5'8 under. Oh, what a night! Audi, 8'4, about. Uh, that's a state to you and me. Genuine on the miles, 6,000 pounds below. 6,000 pounds below on bid. 6'4 up to, guys. 64 on bid. Lots of you waiting for this one. Sorry, guys. 65. What were you in for? 66 on bid. 66 foot up to. Ring in the middle at 6,067 in the hall. Hall winner at 67. Fresh got 68, 6,000 on bid, 6,9, 7 bid. Outside Don't the regret it. So, 7,000 pounds, but a 7 on bid now, but a 7 I've got. So, if you're coming back online, it's now or never. Out, 71, 72, 72 bid, 72 bid, I think he's gone online. So, 72 wants, so, is that a bid? It's 73. Sorry, Nick, 70, I'll put you in at 50. 73, 74, 50, 75, 50, 76, 50, 77, 50, 78, 50, 79, then 50, 79, 50. Well, that's the round once and twice. Yeah. And that bonus number is. James has told me he's in this for five grand. So will he actually go for it? That's the question. This is when we looked at and had all the specs on the steering wheel. Right, so another really successful day at G3. Massive thanks to them for having us. Um, yeah. James has probably been more successful than I have, to be honest. You've got we three cars. I could have easily bought probably, I'd have thought, 10. The prices were really, really good today. Yeah, I kicked myself for missing a few, including Mike Brewer's there personal was loads, Range Rover. loads going through with, like a, I'd say, like a 3K margin on stuff, uh, sort of, that would retail at like 7 to 10, which is yeah. big. It's like mar sweet spot, big really. margin. Yeah, big margins. Um, yeah. It was the, like last time, there was plenty, plenty you could have bought. I think it was even probably better today, to be fair. Yeah. And I only bought the one, but I bought an RS5 because I saw it and I couldn't help myself, really. Yeah. Um, but that even bigger margin, I think we worked out, you could have, what do we say? You have about five and a half grand across that, um, yeah. which some people would like be bulking out, wouldn't they? God. Yeah. Like we were saying, the brakes could be a thousand pounds to replace. Tires would be another thousand pounds to do, wouldn't they? Um, I think I've got a couple, couple of care across this, which sort of in the 5K market is quite tough to do at auctions. Um, but we've got a full report on it. It's got MOT. Um, we've had a little drive in here and it seems to drive okay. So this is the one I'm going to be driving seven hours home. But I bought a, a Sportage with really good margin in it. Sportage is a tough, if I go down to Bristol and get Sportages because they're popular cars in the Southwest, you don't really tend to get strong margin on them. So that was a good buy. And I bought a Golf, which I know nothing about, which was my sort of wild card. So we'll find out about that. Yeah. Grade five Golf. So, but hopefully that was on body work, I think. So if it's body work, I can live with that. Yeah. And with my car, while I could have a big margin out of it, I think it would sell quite well. It's got a really nice spec. I'm actually going to give it away on my raffle website, feelgoodcompetitions.com. So if you like the look of the 4.2 V8 Audi RS5, then head to feelgoodcompetitions.com where you could win this car for absolutely peanuts. So check it out, head over there, and yeah, that's it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Don't forget to head over to James's channel as well if you're watching this on mine. If you're watching it on his, then come over to mine. And <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.